right now on this altar, you know, this month we've been addressing the issue of domestic violence. Even Olori, you send me some videos. You send me some videos concerning domestic violence. I mean, gory videos. <laughs> if we all know what is happening to some women, you will begin to wonder: Is that marriage? What is it? What is it really about? Gory videos of women, their tongues caught up in, you know, in marital abuse and uh, and domestic violence. Their lips dismantled. Their breasts cut off their body. In fact, you will not be able to watch some of these videos. In fact, when I put it on my WhatsApp status, <laughs> some people were calling me, please put it down. We can't even watch it. That is how bad it is. So like um, some of the uh, queens and all that uh, spoke on it last night mentioned serious uh, points that there is nothing behind such things but evil spirits. Because no human being in their same senses we meet out such evil, such level of atrocity and wickedness upon another human being. Even animals would not do that to, to their own circle, to their own family. And much more, we, that we are called human beings. So a, an evil spirit has gone in. An evil spirit has possessed those people. So this evil is running riot over our nation. But we are here as women today. That's why I call great women, great leaders, women that are influencers in their domain, in their kingdom, in their neighborhood, that have and you know a certain level of influence to begin to cry out against these hills in the land. Because when women I cry out and everything. listen to what we have to say and take actions against whatever we are crying out for, you know why? Because our jurisdiction, our assignment as women was cut out for us from the foundation of the earth. God did not miss his word about our role here on earth. When he handed the woman over to Adam, he called her a helper, a helpmate, a helper. So Adam represents a man and it represents mankind. So a woman has been called as the helper of mankind to surround humanity with her presence, to shield humanity from any situation that might want to cause decay, that might want to destroy lives, that might want to destroy family. Once a woman is in that environment, Satan is afraid. If you want to destroy somebody's life, if you want to destroy a family, if you want to destroy a nation, remove the presence of a woman in the way where she's supposed to be represent, representing herself, her family, her community, and her nation. Then begin to watch that nation go down. And that is why women must begin to cry out and begin to play their role in every level in the land so that our, our spiritual presence, our God-ordained ability, and the reason why God created us, he can pour out into the society and begin to heal our land. So this morning, I'm just going to uh, take one scripture so that I can allow um, Olo Rete Joshua to talk. She I, is already I took the scripture prepared. concerning all of these women because they are special women. They are all Oloris. They are all queens in their own in their own right. And of course, all of us are kings, queens, and priests in the Lord. So I began. I, I took this scripture concerning the position and the role they hold in the land, which is Esther four fourteen. It says, "For if you remain silent at this time, this is Esther. This is Esther's uncle Mordecai." talking to Esther, when they were facing a sort of tribulation and the people, the Jews, were about to be um, destroyed in the land, they also had to cry out who is a father figure, who was a father figure to her and who stood as a representation of God in her life. He said to her in the book of Esther 4.14, he said, if you remain silent at this time, Esther, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. But you, and your father's family will perish. And who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. 
So as many women that are in position of authority, position of influence, that have the, a domain, a kingdom, that they, uh, you know, they have the ears of the people, if they keep quiet for such a time as this with what we are experiencing over our land, then God will question them. And that is why our queens, our the beautiful daughters of God in the land, have been called to this platform to come and add their voice against the heel, to speak against the heels of the land. And when our voice begins to rise, it enters every, every, every dominion, every throne. It enters every realm and begins to silence every, every voice of the enemy against our land and begins to push back the hands of evil. That is why we are here as queens and as priests. So this morning, with Jesus' joy, I receive Olori. Ola Duni tell Joshua the Olori of Oshile Okiono, a bar of Oba Adedako tell Joshua. She's right here and she's going to speak to us and read some prayer welcome. points. Beautiful. Ma'am, welcome. Good morning, Otto. And good morning, everybody here. Um, yes. Good morning. Uh, I'm quite delighted and I'm happy to be able to talk to mothers like me because I believe this is what we need in our nation now. Everywhere, w tales of war, news, newspapers, everywhere, uh, all around you. There's nothing yes. particularly at this time, point in time that gives us joy. So that's why I'm happy to talk on the topic I've been given, domestic violence, security in our communities, and um, moral upbringing of our children. But I'll first start with the security aspect. I was given an anchor verse, which says um, in Isaiah 32, verse 18, and it yeah. reads thus, um, and my people shall dwell in a peaceful habitation and in yes. sure and in quiet, quiet resting places. This is God's wish for us. Yes. But then I'd like to take another verse, which is Psalm 11, verse 3. That if the foundations are weak, if they are destroyed, what can the righteous do? Mm. I would say what we can do as mothers is if we go along with what Apostle Paul said, that the effective, fervent prayer of the righteous are very yes. important. That's we have right. the righteousness of, our, of ours, but mm. except the righteousness of Christ, which mm. we have dwelt into. But sorry, before I start, let's say a word of prayer. Father yes. Almighty, thank you for today. Today is, you, the, today is the day you have made, and we shall be yes. glad. Thank you yes. for the opportunity given unto us. Thank you, Father Thank you, Lord, Lord, for you have given us a voice to be able to speak out and pray. Father Lord, yes. take control in the name of Jesus. I submit yes. myself unto you. It is not by Amen. my power my might. Because of my yes. own, nothing I can do. But as I know yes. that with Lord, everything is possible. Father, yes. Lord, put the words in my mouth in the name of Jesus. And Amen. I ask that the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts, let them be accepted to thee, O Lord. Amen. 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 So, as I was saying, that if its foundations are weak, what can the righteous do? Yeah. The only thing we can do is pray. It is only Jesus Christ that can arise and fight for us. That's right. He is the only one that can fight our battles. If they say, okay, let's go to Abuja, and we women, we go to Abuja. Is it only in Abuja that we have all these problems? No, it is not. But our God is an omniscient God. He's everywhere yes. at the same time. Yes. He is the only one that can fight for us. If we go That's through right. the scriptures, we would see the yeah. wonderful way he fought for the Israelites. And he That's brought, right. even at the, end of the, at the end of the day, the peace he brought them, 
has come down to us today. Because once yes. we're in Christ, as the Bible says, we're new creatures and we would have peace of mind and peace all around us. But if we decide to keep quiet now, mm. we are mortgaging our future, our children's future. What mm. would we say at the end of time? What mm. will we mm. say in our quota? The, I see mm. that the things wrong with us now is what can Nigeria do for us? Now, what can we do for Nigeria? Mm. We must always think along that path. What can mm. we do for our nation? What can we yeah. do for our community? What can we yeah. do for our homes? What can we do mm. for our loved ones? It is not what can they do for us. Do because for it's us. of selfishness and greed that has brought us to where we are today. Mm. That is why we have all these ritual killings, herdsmen, kidnapping, you name it. On all cadres of life, all groups, mm. children, mothers, grandmothers, even I'll say babies even. Mm. And it's quite disheartening. So um, I'd like us to look at another scripture. Let's go to Isaiah 58, verse 12. Isaiah. Isaiah 58, verse 12. And it says, and, and they that shall be at, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou yeah. shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the bridge, the restorer of the paths to dwell in. So that is what we are asking you to be now let us be repairers of the bridge That's let right. us be repairers who are ready to rebuild nigeria to rebuild our nation yes. if we have this attitude of it's not my business it's not my business as has been in the past and that is why we're where well, we are now no so we have to get up and build and build for tomorrow. Yeah. Build. Let, a, let us have a good nation for generations yet unborn. So it is God that is yeah. unto us that we should rebuild Nigeria. So mothers, mm. I would ask that. And as the thing says, at the end of it, we'll say that God's promise is there that if we do that, light shall come into our nation. And when there's yes. light, darkness will definitely have no place yeah. in, it would right. in our nation. And that is what we want. We want a brighter tomorrow. We want yes. a peaceful tomorrow. We want a peaceful environment because without mm. peace, we cannot forge our head. We'll just That's be right. there like stagnant water. And what mm. does stagnant water do? It smells. Mm. So right. don't let it smell. If we are going to smell, let it be good perfume. Let it be something good perfume, good perfume exactly, good aroma that mm. will brighten and um, uplift our community and nation. So I'll say, Amen. Father, I'll say, let our first prayer points be, Lord, shepherd us and secure our lives. Because if oh, God Lord. does us, and the Lord doesn't secure our life, there's nothing we can do. So let mm. us pray. Father, Lord, Lord we ask God. that you secure us, that you shepherd our life. You teach us the secure way to go. Because we our our can do things. But we dwell upon yes. the wisdom of Christ. He is yes. the only shepherd that can shepherd yes. us to peace, that can bring yes. about a wonderful nation for us. Father, Lord, yes. we are. Let it be so for us and for generations yet to come. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name we pray. Amen. I also, Amen. Father, Father, deliver us from the plan of the wicked. Yes. As a devil, he's going around, for he knows he has but a short time. That is mm. why he wants to wreak as much havoc as he can. But That's we, right. as men of God, with the mandates of God, we must yes. not allow this to be so. But yes. then in a way we can overcome this is 
we have to go back to our tablets, uh, um, to God's Christ's commandments, where he says, go ye into the world yes. and preach the word. If yes. we refuse to preach the word, how will mm. people know what is expected of them? How mm. will they know how to dwell? How will they know, mm. how will they know what to do? So if, yeah, how will they know? if, exactly, if we don't preach the word then, because mm. this is a grievous mistake that was made in Nigeria when religious studies was removed from the school, school curriculum. Mm -hmm. I remember in our days when we go for assembly, we pray, yeah. they talk mm -hmm. to us, we know That's what. Right. Uh -huh. The songs True. we used to sing then, Sorry, it's going yes. to be in your back. Kini o fo le she la ye ti mo wa. Kini o fo le she la ye ti mo wa. You know, when you remember, yes. then you say, Are you kini o fo le she la ye ti mo wa. Exactly. But all mm. these are gone. Even corporal punishment mm. in the schools too. Mm. I remember if you still a viral and you are disgraced in front of the school. Before taking another mm. person's yes. viral and time. You yes, will sing yes, twice. Yes. But yes, the other time, and so took a viral. This was what happened to her or him. Mm, don't let me yes. do it. So, so with no. all them, them, that is why crime has come to such a high level. With mm. fanciful names, 419, I tapped it, I did this. But stealing is stealing. Killing, killing is, is killing. stealing. Exactly. Killing. So don't let, let, don't let us whitewash it. Don't let us mm. give it any other name but what That's it why. is. So we pray that the Lord will help us, that the Lord will help us receive all what we have lost as a nation. All yes. our properties that we have lost as house, as a family, as a nation, that the Lord will help us retrieve in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Then the Amen. other one the is, our children. The anchor passage I was giving is in Proverbs 22, 24. And it reads thus, 20, Proverbs 20, sorry, 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. So that it's telling us, train your children. You see some mothers, when I see them, it sickens me. I feel so bad in my spirit that how or why should a woman bring her children up this way? It's great. Hmm. It, hmm. It's as if, as it's the sort of clothes they buy, they buy for the sort of outfit they buy for little exactly. kids to wear. Exactly. Exactly. Hmm. When they have them now, what do they want to do when they grow up? Before. That is going to all sorts of crimes because they'll have, they'll want to keep up with that. I see mm -hmm. some children who want to keep up with the Joneses. They don't mm -hmm. know where this one is coming from. But I want to be like this. I want to be like that. Yes. But yes. once they have that moral training, the foundation from home, yes. you yes. see that they won't be that way at all. Mm -hmm. So, and um, as I said. As the Bible says, that our children are the heritage of the Lord. The Lord have, you know, he has given them to us to train. And we will have to answer at the end of time, how did we train the children putting into our care? We must have time for them. We must listen to them. We must get to know our children. Because yes. now parents are so busy. Busy doing nothing i will put it that way so they say they are busy, busy doing nothing. exactly <clears throat> busy but busy but guilty let me put it that mm. way you know mm. but we mothers we have to know our children something happened in abekuta some weeks ago the you no know, this cult strife and i believe it's everywhere mm. and mother so mother said ah, I didn't know my son was a member. I didn't know my daughter was involved in such a thing. Why you don't, we don't get to know them. We don't talk to them. We don't know their inner pains. We don't give them this sense of belonging. Right. You have to grow up this way, uh -huh. things this way. 
So I'll ask that we must not be tireless in bringing up our children. Mm. We must not be tireless yes. in being a leader. When they are ready to talk to us, let us make ourselves available. We must spend time with them. Yes. I pray that every spirit, yes. contrary to the spirit of God in our children, would disappear in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes. Every morning, let us always hand our children over or put them on the altar of the Lord. Let us yes. pray for them. No matter yes. how old they are, no matter yes. how young they are, we yes. must always pray to guide yes. us. Because yes. this is that we can always lead them aright in the mighty yes. name of Jesus. And let Amen. us pray God, our children's lives, arrest our children's lives. All arrest three, our children's lives. They arrest them, exactly. All arrest. that is trying to bring back our children not to allow them fulfill their destiny. Such spirits should die in the mighty name in of the Jesus. Name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. We, we soak all of our our spirits. Us. We soak them in the blood of Jesus. Lord, because the blood only the Jesus. blood of Jesus that can wash them, that can make them yes. new, that can clean yes. them, and that yes. can be in them and lead them yes. aright. Father Lord, yes. we ask. Continue to be to be with our children. Let them give Amen. us joy. Let them give us Amen. peace. Peace of mind. Peace of Let our children give them unto us in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Take them Amen. away from Amen. evil influences of any sort in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever, Amen. whatever good, that will not bring anything good to their lives or to the nation. Father Lord, remove our children from such Amen. situations Amen. in the name of and guide it, make it steady on the solid ground, which is Christ Amen. in the name of Jesus. Spirits Amen. of drunkenness, spirits of um, waywardness, you just name it. Father Lord, we ask that you save our children from all in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. And the third one before I end is the domestic violence. Ah, mm. I what has come over us now there mm. used to be domestic violence then but not mm. at the alarming rates they are Great. now you see husbands wives but come before i go any further it is not only husbands that um override the women or that um, they have the spirit of domestic violence between the you no know, towards their wives you need to see yes. women when they deal with their husbands, it is mm. bad to be so. And I believe it is because they don't have the word of God in them. Yeah, that's true. But said, God says, live peaceably with all people, all, yes. no matter what, no matter yes. who they are, husbands, mm -hmm. workers, children, neighbors, community, no matter what. Because... yes. There's no peace in the community. Once there's domestic violence everywhere, then definitely we can have no peace. As the Yoruba says, Ijalode Eruninu, there's violence mm. and there's fear within us. Yes. In such a situation, tell me, what will we do? Nothing. We get there are women who get weary to pray that ah, yeah. with all this going, what can we do? What can we yeah. do? No, well, I don't know what God is of us. Let's go to Ezekiel verse chapter 45 verse 9. Yeah. Ezekiel 45 verse 9 which says where is it? Sorry? Okay. Thus saith the Lord God let it suffice you, O princes of Israel, remove violence and spoil and execute, execute judgment and justice. Take away your exactions from my people, said the Lord. Exaction, that is taking something by force. Taking something that people are not willing to leave. And I believe that is what brings about domestic violence. You want them to do something this one certain way, you are not getting it. And even inferiority complex brings about domestic violence. It is not That's bad right. 
alone. There's some, uh, there are all sorts of domestic violence, rape, yeah. acid, molestation, verbal, yeah. you no know, loss of one's identity, and so on. No such things yeah. are not whatsoever. And that is not what God is asking of us. God wants peace. And I pray. I'm, I'm even happy for the women who have risen up today to speak against domestic violence. Because at the end yeah. of the day, what does it bring? Untimely death. Yeah. And if people, are people start for dying one after the other, how can yeah. we build the day? Who will be there that the Lord God will continue yeah. to help us? And we pray that God will arise and make our homes heaven on earth. In the mighty Amen. name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. That prayer Amen. that God should make our home, our nations, our society, that God should make them heaven on earth, because that is the Amen. only way we can forge forward. Father Lord, we pray. Yes. Make our surroundings, make our homes, make heaven yes. and earth. Make them a place yes. where we will be able to dwell Amen. in peace. We'll be we'll be in peace, walk around in peace with no fear whatsoever. Amen. Amen. Father Lord, we ask Amen. Jesus name, Amen. that God give us a new beginning, beginning of joy, happiness in our homes, in our societies, in our nation, because yes. that is the only thing we can do yes. that will make God favor us. And I pray that with the little yes. I have said, that the Lord will multiply it in our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. I am Amen. but man, but God is good. He's the all-knowing yes. God. He can do yes. all things, and we yes. praise him. Unfriendly friends, in communities, in homes, in the nation, God will take them away from us in the name of Jesus. Yes. And the Lord will us the right. And, and my favorite verse, let's just go into Timothy, verse, 2 Timothy 3, verses 1 to 8. It's a bit long, but that's the closing one. Let's okay. check. Second Timothy. Second Timothy 3, 1 to 8. And I believe this is what God has for us. He, what he wants us to do. Yes. Sorry? <laughs> In fact, this is so... Okay, second Timothy 1 to 8, it says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Truth breakers, false accusers, um, mm. incontin incon incontinent, fears, despises of those that are good, traitors, heady, yeah. high mind. Okay, let me go to verse, verse mm. eight or seven and eight. Every learning and ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, as James. And Jambes withhold. Okay, that's it. That is what is happening now. God wants us to go into His Word and to pray, and we must always yes. pray. Lord Jesus, let us be like You. Let Thy will be done in our yes. lives, in our at all times. Don't let's do anything yes. of our, but let's give everything unto God. I pray Amen. that the Lord will help us and we bring about a good nation for us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. I... <laughs> that was powerful, Honori. That was so powerful. In fact, you've addressed all areas so powerfully. I have nothing to add. You've touched on every area. You touched on uh, security. You touched on the children, mor uh, morality. You touched on domestic violence. Every area of our focus, you touched on every area. So, you have really done well. Can everybody just write some comments and appreciate Olori for us?
but oh. taking time out to bless us. Like she said, how are we raising our children? I always say that the foundation of every nation starts from the family. It starts from the family. It is what you pour out from the family that we see in the society. It is how you groom your children. That is what we will see in the society, in the lives of the leaders that are, you know, overseeing us. Because who is a society? Who is government? Governments are human beings. It's been run by people that were, you know, brought up in a home. When you see a leader acting unstable, when you see a leader acting as if he has some mental uh, 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 situation on his head, <laughs> It has started somewhere, either from the family where it was born, or there is no peace in the, in, in the part of marriage. Everything starts from the family. So we have to be very sensitive with our household, with our immediate family, with our life's force, to make sure that we are reading the scripture, we understand the word of God. We are teaching people around us what the word says, how we should live peaceably with ourselves, how we should live peaceably with our children, how we should live peaceably with our parents, how husband and wife should live peaceably and in law. By the time we begin to execute all these different areas of relationship, then our character is already formed from the family. Then when we go to the larger society, starting from our immediate neighbors, starting from our immediate community, it pours out into the nation. And a, you know, a very prosperous, sane, beautiful nation is built. She has touched on all of those areas. Mothers, we have to be careful. How do you allow your children early to do some things in life? I would say like my daughter, my, 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 my last child, she will be 20 years old in June. I did not permit her to come on internet until just last year when she was 19. Even before I agreed, her siblings had to intervene. I said, ah, ah, mommy, it's too much now. She's already 19 years old. Let her have a page. I refused. I put my foot down because a lot of things are happening out there. And if you allow them to, to, to see these things too early, it starts building up in their mind. You, you have a child that is three years old, four years old, five years old. You are already buying them things that will show their breasts that will show their underwears. What are you reading? Look at a young girl that we saw online, that we are seeing online. I don't think this girl, I'm not even talking about the 10-year-old girl. There's another one that is now trending, that slept with a dog. That girl cannot be more than 19. Or how many years old? And in her sight, she already believed that what she's doing is, there's nothing wrong with it. She said, I only slept with a dog that did not kill a human being. My God, we come against such evil spirits pervading our land and we cast them out of this nation in the name of Jesus. Every foul, foul spirit, wicked, immoral spirit that have been released into the lives of our children, we cast them out. She said, there's nothing wrong. What did I do? I only slept with a dog that did not kill somebody. So you can imagine how they, are, how they are thinking. Where did that come from? It came from a foundation, from the home, from what parents allowed that to be doing or to be seeing too early. And it has graduated to the point that, you know, she, she, she feels there's nothing wrong with sleeping with an animal. We come against that spirit in our nation because we are interceding right now and we are intervening. And we are placing our voice and putting our voice out there as mothers. We stand in agreement and we command every such spirit to leave our land in the Amen. name of Jesus to be cast out right now Amen. by the power of the Holy Ghost with the angels that are in charge of this assignment to so cast them out by the word of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Can you imagine? That's why I, 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 I didn't keep pressing. Have you, have you seen one point something million in your life before? She's asking me, she slept with a dog, one point something million. What is one point something million? That soul is already that. gone. But we are interceding for that particular girl right now, right here. Yeah. That girl, that girl that is trending, Lord God will bring her soul before you on this altar. 
in the name of Jesus, I forgot to actually look at her name, but Lord God, you know her. We are asking you by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the reason of the redemption power, because this altar is called redemption altar, which means we are interceding to call everything back to order, call everything back into alignment, call everything back into position as God has ordained it to be. Every spirit that has come into the life of that girl to pervert our life and our destiny, we take authority over such spirit and we cast it out of our life. In the name of Jesus, we ask that the angels of this commission, we go and locate that girl wherever she is and redeem her. And Lord God, you send your ministers to our location, wherever she is, to minister love to her, to minister help to her, to minister deliverance to her. And as many of her that are like that, and as many of our songs that have been polluted and perverted, like a lot of them now, they believe until they kill a girl, until they kill a family member before they can have money. Ritual bloodshed across the nation, across the land, ah, with agreement with the Lord here, with everything she has uh, taught this morning, and with as many people that are on this platform, and even interceding for nations and families and community, we come against every vile spirit that has come against our youth in Nigeria, that has taken over their heart. We ask such spirit, lose your hold in the heart yes. and life of our children in Nigeria, even across nations of the world. In the name of Jesus, that spirit of perversion, that spirit that wants blood, that spirit that's always seeking for blood, that has come into our land, that spirit of witchcraft, we take authority over it and we cast that spirit out of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. He said, Amen. 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 To travel upon scorpions and eaters, upon scorpions and snakes, upon mm. principalities and powers. So we oh, yes. are acting in authority in accordance to the word of God. We take authority mm. over every such vile spirit and we command them to leave Nigeria right now. In the Amen. name of Jesus, get out of Amen. our life. So, as the angels of God to chain them up in everlasting chain in darkness, even until the great judgment day, in the name of Jesus, we ask righteousness Amen. to over, overflow in our land. We release the blood of Jesus Amen. to begin to go, and that blood to begin to speak forgiveness against every hills of the land, Amen. every atrocity, every shedding of blood that is speaking Amen. against us as a nation, that is speaking Amen. against us that, uh, that destruction must come over our nation by reason of all of these sins. We use the blood of Jesus as the body of Christ to stand in repentance, to ask for mercy, to ask for forgiveness for this land, and we ask the blood of the eternal covenant to begin to overtake and silence every other blood that is speaking, and for peace to come onto our land in the name of Jesus. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Father, Lord, thank you. Thank you for what you are doing in our communities. Thank you for peace. We, are, we have already prayed for peace. Thank you for our, the leaders that will come into Nigeria in 2023. We, we bring them before your altar right now. We bring Nigeria and the issue of leadership, the people that will take over the hems of affairs in this nation. Come 2023. Father, let only the darkness of our generations come in. Amen. Wherever they are hiding in the caves, push them out, O oh Lord. Let the Josephs arise, push them out, O oh Lord. Let the Jephthahs of the land arise, push them out, O oh Lord. Let people that will have your fear in their heart to understand that leadership, O oh Lord God, and, 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 and it's about servanthood. It's about serving the people and not their belly and not their pocket. Father, Lord, we pray for good governance from every level of government, uh, from the presidency down to every level in Nigeria. Oh, Lord, God, for righteous leaders to begin to take over in the name of Jesus. We pray for all and of our, our others in the nations come into unity of agreement against the hills of the land. Nigeria will be a better place because our others hold such powerful influence over their subjects, in their domains, in their kingdoms. And if we understand everything about, you know, a nation, if you want to get anything out there into, into, into the nation, either on the political level or anything, you have to start from the community and the grassroots. And who are the people in charge of the community? 
our traditional rulers. So it is very important that they get it right. Because if they are not compromised, according to what she shared yesterday, Nigeria will be what we are all praying for it to be. So everything actually starts with all the others that are occupying the thrones of the nation. So we are praying for them, especially that God will bless them mightily. God will bless their household. God will bless everything that they represent in their domain and in the kingdom that they are overseeing. They are ministers. There, there is a scripture that I've, 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 been, I've been reading out. My iPad has actually gone out. So that God owns all the thrones of the earth. He owns every kingdom and is going to reconcile everything unto himself. And the Obas and the and the joyous and everything, they are all ministers of God. All of them, they are ministers of God doing the will and the feeding of Almighty God. So we are just going to be praying and interceding for them that they will all come in agreement. They also God will open their eyes to the hills of the land and they will begin to stand in agreement and say, No, we cannot continue this way because they have the ears of their subject, they have the ears of the people in their community. So when you see that government go to meet the traditional leaders, it's not a joke. They cannot do get any into any position without those traditional uh, uh, rulers. So it is very important that we begin to pray for them and that the power of God will begin to enter the thrones of Nigeria. The power of God will begin to enter the, 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 the dominions you know, of those thrones and the power of God will take over so that our, our land we have peace and we'll be established in righteousness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Blessed Redeemer. Thank you, Olori. Um, um, you You have done so well. God bless you mightily. God bless you all. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. We always be known for good in the name of Jesus. And God will continue to Amen. Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Thank you for coming to honor us on this platform. We do not take this for granted. I do not take it for granted. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. God bless Thank you so much. You. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you, ma'am. Hallelujah. Please everybody, open your microphone and help me thank her. Everybody, open your microphone. Thank oh. you, Lori. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lori. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank 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 you. She did so powerfully well. I mean, she, she broke it down so powerfully well. God bless you. So we are closing right on time. And share we this very particular time. video. Let everybody hear what we got to say. Thank you, Olori. God bless you. See you all later. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. I love you. I love you.